Rob from Rosley Running. Hope you're doing well, stay safe, training hard. So uh, this week uh, we are gonna discuss the kit for next weekend's 100 miler. Um, I'm just off to see my crew man um, with uh, lots of kit. So here's the stuff. So we've got four tubs in here. Uh, we've got one with clothing in, one with uh, medical supplies, lighting, uh, batteries, all that sort of stuff. We've got spare spare shoes, two pairs of spare shoes, flip lots for the finish, and then the all important nutrition uh, for the race. Uh, and then alongside that, we've got some uh, Coke and water to fill the bottles up with. So we're going to get going. Uh, I'm going to go through all of the race preparation with uh, my crew, and uh, I will catch up with you soon. Hi, right, we're back from um, the, my friend's house, Richard, who's going to be crewing me <clears throat> on the 100 miler next weekend. Um, so, as I said um, in the video earlier, that um, we've basically I've given him four uh, containers, um, one with clothes in, uh, one with food and nutrition, one with um, shoes, replacement shoes, or change of shoes, shall I say, and uh, one with um, medical kit and other bits and bobs like that, batteries for um, light light sources and stuff like that. So um, that's all safely with him now, along with some water and coke. Um, and uh, so he's going to bring that with him when uh, when we start next week. So um, looking forward to that. He's also looking forward to it, which is great. So uh, very appreciative of Rich taking up his weekend to to help me run my first 100 miler. So um, yeah, all good. Looking forward to it. So um, now I guess onto the kit that I'm going to be carrying with me. Um, so I'm going to start with clothing. Oh, I've just got that here. So obviously being a, um, a spring ultra, the uh, requirements are quite, um, list for uh, mandatory kit is quite, um, it's quite light as well. However, there are still a few bits in there, surprises that you, uh, that you might think, why is that there? But there they are. But just so we go through what I'm wearing, it's, so it's a it's a bit of a, a Montane affair. Um, I'm quite into the Montane kit at the moment. Um, it worked really well for me. I find it very comfortable. Also found the price point quite good for Montane kit. So um, yeah, I'm quite into that. So uh, for my shorts, I'm going to be wearing the Montane. I think these are Dragon uh, five inch twin shorts. I just find these incredibly comfortable on the trail, particularly for long runs. Um, so. That's what I'm going to be wearing shorts wise and I have a spare pair of these that went uh, to with my crew um, so I will we'll be swapping about halfway for the shorts. Um, for the top I'm going to be starting off with this Montane um, zip up top. I only bought this a couple of weeks ago and I've used it a few times now and it's very very comfortable. Um, it's a dart top uh, so it's a dart zip top short sleeved really comfortable um, particularly around the neck so that your uh, running pack hydration vest doesn't rub across the side of your neck when you get sweaty um, I just found that worked well I, just, I do have occasional issues with that depending on what t-shirt I'm wearing if the neckline is too wide it will just rub along the sides here and then obviously I get sore you don't want that happening um, 20 miles into the race because it's going to make the next 80 miles incredibly uncomfortable so I'm going to be wearing that to start with I've got various tops. Um, I've got a standard dart t-shirt as well uh, with my crew. I've got two, I'm gonna be carrying a long sleeve dart t-shirt. Um, and um, I've also got another one with my crew as well as a backup. And then I've got some other tops. So I've got uh, a couple of my Odlo t-shirts as well, um, which I'm gonna be using along the route. So to change into uh, potentially. So it's all there. Um, socks is just my standard uh, more mile socks which I haven't got here with me at the moment um, so they're just ankle socks that I like to wear on the trails um, I'll obviously have a few buffs to keep changing this is my run for adventure uh, believe and achieve buff uh, which I like um, but I also got a Harrier one and a few others kicking around um, some actual buff ones um, so I should be using those um, lots of caps to change into Got my run for adventure cap here, but um, 
which is a quite relatively new one, um, which uh, Lloyd and Liga released for a venture. So I should be wearing that. Um, the mandatory kit says you have to take gloves with you. So I've just got a very basic thin pair of gloves and they're never gonna get used. Um, obviously you don't need gloves this time of year, um, but they're there and also a warm hat. So I've just got my uh, four class um, hat here, which is uh, merino wool. Not gonna wear that either, but it's there just in case, just to tick the kit requirements merely. And then um, waterproof jacket wise, I have the uh, Montane spine jacket here. Oh, it says, we can kick it up. There we go. That's my, my waterproof jacket, Montane spine. Um, excellent jacket, very breathable. Hopefully I won't need it uh, because it doesn't matter how breathable it is, it's gonna get very hot wearing that. Um, for any length of time, so hopefully I won't need that. Um, so that's the clothing, all quite low-key basic. On my feet, I'm gonna be wearing the Saucony Exodus Ultra. Um, I've got two pairs of them, so I'm gonna be taking the newer of the two pairs that I've got, and not done so many miles. However, they're all wearing out, so I should imagine this will probably be their last run. Um, I have the spare pair, my older pair, uh, with my crew, and then I also have my normal Tamir shoes which are also going to be with my crew um, just in case I even need more grip because they've got longer lugs on them or I'm just finding it uncomfortable in the Exodus Ultra I doubt that's going to happen but you never know I think it's more likely that I'll get to a section where it's getting muddy it's maybe it potentially is muddy or something like that and um, I need a bit more grip than what the Exodus Ultra is going to give me because they're only four and a half mil lugs on those Exodus Ultras um, and half of those are worn away because I've been running in them so often. So um, yeah, it'll be good to uh, have a grippier pair of shoes there just in case I need it. So that's it for clothing. Um, so some of the mandatory kit, um, first aid kit isn't mandatory, but I take it anyway. And I've also got some spare first aid kit like blister passes and stuff like that with my crew. Um, so that's gonna take that. Um, a bivy bag is um, definitely a mandatory piece of kit, so I've got one of those. Equally, they have asked for a full blanket as well, so I've also got a full blanket alongside that. Um, something to keep you visible at night, so I've just got some bands here which I can just tie onto my bag or something, just high vis stuff. Um, you have to, I've got a collapsible cup, this isn't mandatory, but there's no cups at the aid station, so I have my Salomon collapsible cup there. I have, um, you've got to carry, be able to carry a, a litre of water. I always carry a litre and a half. Uh, I've gone away, moved away from bladders. I used to use bladder all the time, so I'd have two litres of water. Now I just use uh, three soft flasks. So I've got those there, and my crew have got another spare three of these, so I can just easily swap them out to try and save a bit of time. Um, I've got a whole range of nutrition um, that I'll be taking. So we've got um, sultanas. I've got those all bagged up in 30 gram um, bags um, or 30 grams worth in each bag, um, just to weigh that out. I've got gels, I've got Velo Forte chews. Um, I've got some flapjacks in there as well. Two lots of flapjacks actually. Um, I've got some, um, yeah, the gels that I've got are the Raspberry Ripple ones from, I forget the name of them now, uh, but I use those all the time. It will come back to me. Um, and then I've got some other bits of food as well there. I've got some stuff for the evening, some pot noodles, so I can have some hot food at night time. Uh, I've also got some porridge as well for the morning. Um, and then I'll be taking a selection of stuff uh, from the aid stations as well. Oh, and I've got some salted nuts as well in case I need some salt. So plenty of stuff in there. In terms of hydration, I will be uh, using Tailwind um, and um, High Five Zero um, Etrolyte tablets, as well as a bit of water as well on its own. Um, and as I said before, I've got Coke. Um, so I'll be having some Coca Cola at certain um, checkpoints or when I check in with, the, with my crew uh, at certain points during the course. So that's 
kind of all of all of that stuff um i will be taking my poles because 100 miles and it's hilly so i have the um the harrier Hevelin um carbon poles these are the adjustable ones not the fixed length um but they work really really well i like those in terms of lighting so my main light will be this one it's the fenix hp uh 16r um so there we go we'll be doing a review on this one by the by on the channel uh probably after after the race i get back um so really great one it's got a nice pack there at the back lasts absolutely ages at night which is good it's going to see me through the night the whole night but um just in case it doesn't i also have uh my night core headlamp here just in case i need a backup so um this is I'm trying to think which one it is now i can't remember but you can have a look at that one on the on the website um great light it's just it wouldn't last as long as the other one so i'll be made going with the other one and then this one will be my spare um in terms of other technology so the watch i'll be wearing is this one it's the garmin enduro this is the first enduro not the second one uh, but plenty of black tree life on that really good watch um so i'll be wearing that on the day and then so that my crew know where i am i mean there's bound to be a tracker on me anyway from the um from the race directors i'm sure they'll, they'll hand out trackers and there'll be a, a link to that on the website but i didn't want to rely on on that so um i have my own gps device here this page gps um there's a a um, video on the channel about this a review um so go check that out uh this is a great piece of kit i've had it for a couple of years now something like that um and i bought it as peace of mind uh for my wife so that um my family already, already knew where I was when I went on long training runs. Um, but the good thing about this is, uh, A, these are used in races. I've had one of these in, in a race before. Um, so they're, they're widely used. Uh, but also you can share out a link. So I'll be sharing the link um, to my uh, with my crew. Um, they can go on there and they can see where I am at any point on the course. They know when I'm going to be approaching the checkpoint. Um, they can prep stuff for me already. I've already given them instructions to do that. So um, yes, I shall be having that in my pack. Um, well worth it, good, good, good to be used. So what am I going to use to carry all this stuff? So two things. First of all, I've got my um, Sullivan Advanced Skin Belt here. So I will be using that to carry um, one of my soft flasks in the front here. We've got a front pocket that will carry a 500 ml soft flask so i'm going to be carrying soft flask in there and um, probably gels and salt tablets down the side just in case i need them um, in between crew stops um, and some other bits and bobs on the we've got the pocket on the back here that will probably carry my mobile phone um, and also my poles so my pole the pole loops are here i like to carry my poles on my waist so that's going to be used for that and then my hydration vest which is here very graceful getting hold of that was it um this is the montane gecko um very good race vest better now that i've adjusted it um so the montane gecko sorry just sort that bit out see it went in the wash and then uh yeah it all gets a bit tangled up so the montane gecko had um different clasps for the the front of it i switched it out because i didn't like it um, and i put on the attachments for the salmon skin set vest um, which means this this holds together much nicer now um, and it's very comfortable when it's on so uh, that's the vest that i'm going to be using to carry all this in so that's pretty much it for the kit um, we are almost uh, ready now. I will do some kit checks this week, um, and then we pack all the pack the car up, and then we'll be heading down to um, Eastbourne, which is actually the finish line uh, on Friday, Friday morning. And um, yeah, we will 
stay there in the night. Um, early in the morning on Saturday, about half eight, I've got to get the um, the bus that they put on, which will take me from Eastbourne to the start line uh, in Petersfield, uh, Hampshire. And uh, the journey will begin from there. And obviously I'll be bringing you along on that journey. So um, really looking forward to that. So um, yeah, this will probably be the last video <coughs> before uh, the race so I look forward to seeing you uh, after the 100 miles so um, yeah see you soon train hard race hard have fun until next time see you later